Hi! Welcome back to hsebox.com. In this video, we will talk about questions and answers regarding asbestos. Asbestos is not a single substance, but a group of silicate minerals that are highly fibrous. The fibers, which are too small to be visible, are heat resistant and strong and flexible enough to be woven. The durability of the fibers becomes a problem when they get into lung tissue, where they can remain for a long time. Before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and smash that like button that will help a lot. We can find much more safety information in our channel and in our site hsebox.com. Thank you. Question number one. What is asbestos? Asbestos is a naturally occurring mineral composed of flexible fibers that are resistant to heat, electricity, and corrosion. These qualities make the mineral useful, but they also make asbestos exposure highly toxic. Question number two. Where is asbestos commonly found? The most common use was corrugated asbestos cement roofing primarily for outbuildings, warehouses, and garages. It may also be found in sheets or panels used for ceilings and sometimes for walls and floors. Chrysotile has been a component in joint compounds and some plasters. Numerous other items have been made containing chrysotile including brake linings, fire barriers and fuse boxes, pipe insulation, floor tiles, residential shingles, and gaskets for high temperature equipment. Question number three. Is asbestos banned? Asbestos is not banned in the United States, but it's banned in some other countries. Where it's not banned it is highly regulated. The asbestos industry has powerful lobbying organizations protecting its interests. The toxic mineral is still commonly used in Russia, China, India, and Mexico. Question number four. Should I see a doctor if I have been exposed to asbestos? You should see a doctor if you develop respiratory or gastrointestinal symptoms that progress and don't go away on their own. Tell your doctor about your history of asbestos exposure and ask them to screen you for related diseases. If you are diagnosed with mesothelioma, it is extremely important to get a second opinion from a mesothelioma doctor. Question number five. Can the N95 mask be used for asbestos? N95 masks do not protect you against chemical vapors, gases, carbon monoxide, gasoline, asbestos, lead, or low oxygen environments. Question number six. What does asbestos do to the body? The asbestos fibers irritate and scar lung tissue, causing the lungs to become stiff. This makes it difficult to breathe. As asbestosis progresses, more and more lung tissue becomes scarred. Eventually, your lung tissue becomes so stiff that it can't contract and expand normally. Question number seven. What happens if you breathe in asbestos? If you breathe asbestos fibers, you may increase the risk of several serious diseases, including asbestosis, mesothelioma, and lung cancer. Asbestos exposure may increase your risk for cancers of the digestive system, including colon cancer. Question number eight. How do I know if I have asbestos? There is no test to determine if you've been exposed to asbestos, but there are tests to detect asbestos-related diseases. Your doctor can order imaging scans that reveal signs of asbestos-related disease. Question number nine. Can you survive asbestosis? There is no cure for asbestosis, as the damage to the lungs is irreversible. However, you can take steps to reduce your symptoms and improve your quality of life. Question number 10. Do all popcorn ceilings have asbestos? Popcorn ceilings generally contain between 1 and 10% asbestos. While 1% may seem insignificant, it's important to note that any percentage of asbestos in a popcorn ceiling is cause for concern and should be addressed. 
Question number 11. How does asbestos start? Asbestosis is caused by inhaling microscopic asbestos fibers. In most cases, the disease develops after asbestos has accumulated in the lungs for many years. Asbestos is a naturally occurring mineral American industries mined and integrated into a wide variety of products until largely phasing it out in the 1980s. Question number 12. How do I know if asbestos is in my home? How to identify materials that may contain asbestos. Generally, you can't tell whether a material contains asbestos simply by looking at it unless it is labeled. If in doubt, treat the material as if it contains asbestos and leave it alone. Question number 13. Can asbestos be washed out of clothes? You cannot easily wash asbestos out of clothes. Trying to do so can expose you to asbestos. Regular washing machines are not designed to clean asbestos contaminated clothing. Trying to wash contaminated clothing will cause asbestos fibers to become airborne. Question number 14. When was asbestos banned in homes? In 1990, EPA prohibited spray-on application of materials containing more than 1% asbestos to buildings, structures, pipes, and conduits unless certain conditions specified. Question number 15. Can you paint over asbestos? Great care should be taken if painting asbestos-containing material, ACM, such as asbestos cement panels and corrugated sheeting. Asbestos cement can be painted but extreme care must be taken not to loosen or release any dust or fibers. In fact, painting can make the material safer by sealing the surface. Question number 16. How do I know if I have asbestos in my lungs? The most common signs of asbestos exposure include shortness of breath, cough, and chest pain. Plural plaques are a sign that a person had enough exposure to be at risk of other diseases. They may develop prior to mesothelioma or lung cancer. Question number 17. Can asbestos be cured? There's no cure for asbestosis once it has developed, as it's not possible to reverse the damage to the lungs. But some treatments can help, such as pulmonary rehabilitation, a program of exercises and education to help manage your symptoms. Question number 18. How long can you live after being diagnosed with asbestosis? The average asbestos-related lung cancer life expectancy is 16.2 months. An asbestos-related lung cancer prognosis is best determined by a lung cancer specialist. You may be able to improve your prognosis through treatments such as surgery, chemotherapy, and immunotherapy. Question number 19. Should you remove the popcorn ceiling? If you discover that your popcorn ceilings contain asbestos, don't panic and don't try to remove it yourself. Removing it will cause the particles to escape into the air, making it easy for you and your family to breathe in the carcinogens. Question number 20. How long does asbestos take? It is strongly associated with past exposure to asbestos. The tumor begins in the pleura and spreads to the lung and chest wall. There is no cure currently available. It can take 30 to 40 years after exposure for asbestos to develop and be diagnosed. This was the more common question about asbestos. If you have any other questions let us know in the comments below. Check our channel for more safety topics. See you soon. Never forget safety is your responsibility. Stay safe always. Bye bye.